I work in a hair and beauty salon, so sometimes we use it in there on the tills and like you said with time management and stuff. The tills and stuff if you own your own salon. Not giving wages out or stuff like that. Obviously when we have clients in it's money for treatment so if you have a manicure it's going to cost you money so you have to take the money in and obviously give them the right change if they give you more money than what's expected. So yeah it will come in. For products and stuff, stock and making sure you get the right amounts and how much it's going to cost you and stuff. Making appointments, yeah, because obviously it's time. I'd say more like money wise and obviously the stock as well. Because obviously you've got to pay and budget for that as well. Probably to work around the clients because if you need to time a certain treatment, you need to make sure you finish that on time. Obviously, you can't go over a, a treatment or give it less because they're paying for you. So you'd have to do it in your own time, probably. Like a manicure is meant to be 45 minutes. Maths is quite involved in quite a lot of it, when you come to think of it. Because like, we learned all different stuff in maths in school, obviously. But like now in college, I think we're concentrating on the things we use in an actual workplace, which is better than just doing every single thing again. Adding up the money and change for clients, and then just do the dyes as well, doing the ratio. I think when I do more dyes, I'll have to but break down like when you have to do 40% of different things. If you mix the dyes up and do wrong, the hair will go a completely different colour. Yeah, and time, because you only get a certain amount of time to do it, and the dye has to come off at a certain time. The person, when they come into the salon, they want to know how much they cut off the hair in it, so you have to know where to like cut, in case you cut like too much of it. <laughs>